Got my iced coffee, uh -huh, ready to go. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel today. Welcome back. If you're new, what's up? So in today's video, I basically just wanted to show you guys how I get ready with me. Now I wanted to challenge myself a little bit. Yes. Challenge, challenge myself, myself a little bit by just using cream products. So I tried to film this video yesterday, but I literally was dripping everywhere, dripping everywhere, full of boogers and a possible cold. Who knows? If you guys want to watch me get ready in terms of, you know, using cream products for my eyes, yes, I am going to try something with my eyes today. Little lip combo and an overall face with no powder whatsoever. Help me. Help me. Stay tuned. Also, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Clinique Hydrating Jelly. Now you guys know I love this stuff to really hydrate the skin and really get it nice and plump and juicy for, you know, our makeup application today because it's very important that we try to look somewhat natural and if we can't look natural, we look nice and uh, smooth. Like a baggy bag. So after letting that moisturizer sit for about three to five minutes, I'm gonna go in with my Lache Messier Hydrating Primer. Again, love this stuff. You guys know I basically bathe in this stuff and yeah. I feel like it really makes the face look nice and smooth and it really gives you a nice, plump, hydrated, smooth base for your makeup. Also gonna follow up with a little bit of my Vaseline so we can get everything nice and hydrated at the same time. At the same time. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this quad from MAC Cosmetics. This is the Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in Dark. So I'm gonna use this to um, color correct with this orange shade under my eyes. Now with this shade, you don't need a lot of product, but I wanna make sure that I cancel out as much darkness under my eyes as possible, especially during allergy season. <laughs> exactly. So we want to blend this out. I prefer to blend things out with my finger because I feel like it warms up and emulsifies the product into the skin. So next I'm going to be using this Charity Cosmetics Correct and Conceal Palette. This has, I think, what is it? 3, 6, 9, 12, 16. Is that right? Correct math? No, it's 15. Oops. Oops. Beauty guru. Math, math musician. Math musician. Math Whatever. I'm gonna go in with a couple of these shades here to achieve a perfect base, or I hope so. I'm gonna take one of these flat foundation brushes. Really cute. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of this shade here, and if I have to brighten it up, I will. All right, yeah. We're just gonna add these two. I'm gonna try to tap as much pigment on as possible. This does claim to be a full coverage concealer kit, so I... I believe that, I believe it. Especially from the looks of what I'm seeing here on camera. By the way guys, if you hear any noises, it's my dog. Yeah. I always like to take some around my nose, especially from the redness of sneezing yesterday. Perfect. I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite sponges. I don't remember the name, that's all right. We'll figure it out. Perfect, so now that we're all blended out, let's move on to contouring. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I'm gonna use one of these cute little angled brushes for my nose that I got at the dollar store, Dollar Tree. What do you know? I like brushes like this because I feel like they really snatch up the nose. Like, that already looks snatched. Latoya Jackson, is that you? Let's cover up this five head. I'm gonna take one of these fluffy brushes and start to blend this out. Perfect. Uh, let's move on. Since I don't have any like cream blushes or anything like that, I'm gonna go in with this orangey shade and use that as a light flush of color. One of these cute little angled brushes. Oh, whatever. Perfect. All right guys, just to give a little bit more drama to this look, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this brown shade here and use that on my lid.
All right, so now that we have some stuff on our eyes, the look is coming together. From what I feel. We're gonna move on and do a little something to the lips. So I'm gonna take the um, pencil brush like this, and I'm gonna use that orangey shade as a lip balm slash some color to tie in the look that we created today. Let's do that. All right guys, and one of the last things that I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this brown shade and try to use an angled brush and do a little brow work. Wish me luck. Not so bad, not so bad. Perfect. Brows done. I think this completes the look. All right, guys, and this is the complete look. I hope you guys really enjoyed. At least I know that hey. if I needed to use one single palette or cream sticks and stuff like that that I had, I could just do that and look pretty much okay. okay. I'm living for this lip combo. Brows. <laughs> Not so bad. Face, I think it looks pretty good. Eyes are nice, which is different for me. I haven't really done anything with my eyes in a while, but I feel like this gives me a vibe like. Who is that? Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any other content ideas, definitely let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Bye.